Get up and get going. Even before we are totally awake, Satan is bidding to death. Sivasan is ready to plant defeating thoughts in our mind. He wants us to be hopeless, faithless, and negative. He definitely doesn't want us to be positive when we get up. He wants us to have a bad attitude and be selfish and self-centered, full of hatred, bitterness, resentment, doubt, unbelief, and fear to be mad at everybody. But thank God, through Jesus Christ, we have been re deemed from all of those negative patterns, we can resist the devil and trust God's power in order to live victoriously. Today, you can change. You will never reach your destiny by thinking negative thoughts. When you first wake up in the morning, start saying, L love my life. It is wonderful. I thank God for everything he has given me. You will do yourself a favor if you start thinking right thoughts so that you will also choose right actions. Sowing the right actions into your day will form new habits. As you begin to operate in those new habits, you will change in your character. And as your character changes, you will move into the destiny that God has for you. By God's power you can live in newness of life. Many times we get upset about things that never happen. Satan likes to get us anxious about things that are not even real problems. Jesus said, the thief comes only in order to steal and kill and destroy. I came that they may have an enjoy life and have it in abundance to the full till it overflows. The Bible says that the kingdom of God is internal righteousness, peace, and joy in the Holy Ghost. When we make Jesus Lord of our heart, we have joy in our eaves. Satan has no right to stock from you today, so enjoy the good life that Jesus paid for you to have. Philippians promises that Christ will empower you for any thing you must face. This means that he will make you ready for anything and equal to all challenges by infusing you with inner strength. God will never put you in a position to do something without giving you the strength and the ability to do it. You can relax and enjoy your life, for God will strengthen, complete, perfect and make you what you ought to be and equip you with every thing good that you may carry out his will, while he himself works in you and accomplishes that which is pleasing in his sight. Through Jesus Christ, trials can come like a freight train, one car after another, after another but eventually the last car passes, when problems seem unceasing, Remind yourself, this too shall pass. Deal with one trial at a time in the power of the Holy Ghost until each series of events is over. God will give you fresh anointing daily to handle everything that comes into your life. Each time you endure a tough day, you can sleep it off and start again the next day. So you may as well enjoy the tough days too, because God's favor is for a lifetime, weeping may end. Door for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Trust me in all your thoughts. I know that some thoughts are unconscious or semi-conscious, and I do not hold you responsible for those. But you can direct conscious thoughts much more than you may realize. Practice thinking in certain ways trusting me, thanking me and those. Thoughts become more natural. Reject negative or sinful thoughts as soon as you become aware of them. Don't try to hide them from me, confess them and leave them with me. Go on your way lightheartedly. This method of controlling 
Your thoughts will keep your mind in my presence and your feet on the path of peace. Another key to starting your day right is not to dread things. Don't lie in bed dreading the whole day before you even get up. Dread is a close relative of the spirit of fear. When dread enters, joy leaves. Dread sets you up for misery, because by choosing to dread you decide that you cannot enjoy what you must do today. Be excited when you face new tests. Close the door to the mindset of dread. Decide early to enjoy every challenge that faces you today, knowing that God will be with you to make your path straight and to prosper in everything you set out to do. The Lord says to you this morning the same thing he told Jacob. In a dream, I am with you and will keep watch over you with care. Take notice O oh, you wherever you may go and I will bring you back to this land, for I will not leave you until I have done all of which I have told you. Keep your mind on this promise in spite of any news you may hear that tempts you to be afraid today. God promises to be with you, watch over you with care, take notice of you wherever you may go, and bring you back again. He says he will not leave you, and he will complete all the promises he has made to you. This means that no weapon formed against you will prosper. Be careful when somebody makes a suggestion. That sounds good. Not every good idea is a God idea. Don't rush into making a decision or accepting a new responsibility without praying about it first. Slow down long enough to ask God for wisdom, and listen for his guidance. Take a little bit of time, to see if you have peace about the idea. If you don't, have peace, you don't even have to understand, why you don't have peace. Just don't do it. Life without purpose is vanity. Webster's definition of purpose is, something set up as an object or end to be attained. Christians ought to be people with purpose. We are all purposed to seek the kingdom of God, which is his righteousness, peace, and joy. In the Holy Spirit, today is an opportunity to willfully and deliberately seek God with the intent to know him better than we knew him yesterday. Today we can deliberately move forward with the intent to accomplish good things for the kingdom. If you lose your temper easily, you will never enjoy your day as God meant for it to be. Seek God with your whole heart and find out what is wrong. The way to get free from things that upset you is to find truth. The truth will always set you free. We don't always want to face truth because sometimes it is painful. Sometimes it shows us that we need to change. If we are behaving badly, we make excuses for our wrong behavior. But excuses will never make us free. Let God get involved with your day. When you feel your temper flare, ask him to reveal the truth of that situation. The truth will always set you free to end. Joy the rest of your day. Jesus said to ask God for daily bread. He also called himself the bread of life. Seek God's direction in the morning to gather his daily words for you. You will feel well nourished all day long. Obey quickly if God tells you to do something, even if God gives you a difficult task, don't put it off and dread it all day. Abraham rose early to offer Isaac on the altar. God blessed his obedience and provided an acceptable sacrifice. In place of Isaac, David rose up early on, the morning that he was to kill Goliath, and through him, God 
delivered the Israelites from their enemies. He will bless and deliver you too. When God baptized me in the Holy Ghost, I felt like he had filled, nay with liquid love. He did something on the inside of me, and it showed on the outside of me. Internal changes last, and keep showing up in everything we do. That is why you can't really be a closet Christian. If you save, it will show to others. If you say you are saved, but no, ing has changed in your life, something is wrong. When Jesus to live in you, he will get involved with how you live in. How you look at life to make you more like him. Welcome any changes he needs to make in you. Today, Jesus got up early in the morning, long before daylight, and went out to a deserted place, and prayed he got alone, say. There were so many people who followed Jesus every where he went that he probably wouldn't have had any time alone if he hadn't gotten up really early. If you aren't a morning person, the thought of getting up here Lee may make you nervous, but you can decipher for yourself what early means for you. Nine o'clock is early if you are used to staying in bed until noon. Even if you only get up 15 min, youths earlier than usual to have some time alone with God, you will still honor him, and that time with him will make your whole day brighter. Each morning we need to come clean with God. If there is anything between us and God, when we try to pray and get into his presence, it will bother us until we deal honestly with it. God wants us to confess our faults. I have found over the years in a ministry of dealing with other people, and also in dealing with my own flesh, that we don't really like to confront wrongdoing as we should. Most of us like to make excuses, but excuses keep us deceived. An excuse is a reason stuffed with a lie. The Bible says that the truth will set us free. Dot. Honesty with God will free us to enjoy our whole day. We need to be so self-controlled that we don't waste time. That doesn't mean that we can never do anything fun. It doesn't mean we can't do things that we enjoy. We don't need to be rigid stiff or boring but we do need to use our time wisely choosing to give the best part of our day to spend time with god the word encourages us to be prepared saying hear counsel receive instruction and accept correction that you may be wise in the time to come starting your day with God's instruction will keep you walking in wisdom, making the most of your time. Have you ever had one of those days where nothing went right, yet you were hesitant to pray because you didn't know where God might lead you? God won't always ask you to do something. Sometimes he just wants to talk to you. If he does ask you to do something, he will anoint you to do it. You will enjoy the presence of his power, and someone will be blessed by your obedience. Those are the best days of your life. Take time to pray this morning. Today may be one of those days that God has a special assignment for you. I have learned that spending time with God is a vital necessity in my life. I cannot do what I am called to do if I don't seek the presence of God every day. If I don't have time for God first, nothing else in my life works out. God isn't happy with second place or third place in our lives. When we are desperate enough, we find time to seek God. We turn the telephone off, 
we say no to our friends, and we turn our face away from all distractions and seek Him. That is when we get our breakthrough. Start your day saying, I am excited about this day, God. I can hardly wait to see what you are going to do. I believe you are going to keep me, help me, bless me, and give me favor. I love you, Father. I am waiting on you, Lord, and I am listening to you. Ask God to put into your spirit everything he wants you to know. Ask him to show you things to come and what you are supposed to do. He will give you direction and you will have much to praise him for today. Take chances today and invest in someone else's life, especially if God tells you to do so. You may give them something of value only to learn they waste it as they have always done in the past. But remember that God made an investment in you, and he wants you to be will to make an investment in somebody else. Jesus died to give everybody a chance. Not everyone takes advantage of his provision, but we all have an equal opportunity to enjoy the abundant life. If you help some one, and they end up not doing what is right with it, that is between them and God. Give thanks that you are able to give and then do whatever God tells you to do. God instructed his people to utterly destroy their enemies. They were to show no mercy. When God tells us it is time to deal with our negative, faithless attitudes, it is time to throw away our excuses. No more rationalizing. Well, everybody else is negative. Why should I be any different? And get some things over with in your life today. Get rid of bad habits and negative attitudes and move on with the future God has for you. Pray, Lord, please help me to change. Show me the root of my problem and how to get over it. I want positive changes in my life. People complain about stress, but some people would rather complain than change. It is easy to be frightened at the thought of jumping off life's high-speed treadmill, especially if you aren't sure what to give up in order to slow down your LTE. God wants you to enjoy a beautiful life with simplicity, sanity, and clear direction. That only comes by spending time with Him, reading His Word, talking to Him, and listening for his response. If you are too busy to get alone with him each day, then set some boundaries in your light. Say no to whatever is keeping you iron. Starting your day with God 